Hello everyone, welcome to In 5 Minutes. In this video, we are going to see the next problem on application of differential equation. So this is our question, a body executes damped forced vibrations and its differential equation is given by this equation. So we only need this equation, no matter what it executes something, something. So this is our equation. So solve this equation for the cases when omega square is not equal to b square minus k square and when it is equal to b square minus k square and we are given that b square is greater than k square. So first we will solve this equation as we used to solve for uh, any other higher order differential equation. So this is our equation and in this we have d square x upon dt square. So we substitute d equal to d by dt then our d square will be d square upon dt square and so on. So if we substitute this we get d square into x plus 2k d by dt will be replaced by d into x plus b square into x equal to e raised to minus kt into sine of omega t. So from this equation I can take x common I will get d square plus 2k into d plus b square into x equal to e raised to minus kt sine of omega t. If you see this equation, this equation is of the form f of d into x equal to t. Earlier we have we used to have equation f of d into y equal to x. Now instead of y we have x small x. So the solution here we have y equal to y c plus y p. In this the solution will be x equal to x c plus x p. Only y will be replaced by x. Okay. So first we will concentrate on xc that is complementary function. To find xc we need an auxiliary equation An auxiliary equation is given by f of t equal to 0. What is f of d? f of d is nothing but this term d square plus 2kd plus b square. So if you see this equation is nothing but a quadratic equation and the roots of quadratic equation is given by minus b plus minus root of b square minus 4ac upon 2a. In our case b is 2k so minus 2k plus minus root of b square so 4k square minus 4a is 1 and c is b square upon 2a. So this will become minus 2k plus minus root of we can take this 4 outside the root so we get 2k square minus b square upon 2. I can cancel these twos we get minus k plus minus root of k square minus b square. If you see in our question we are given that b square is greater than k square. So k square minus b square will be negative value. Okay. So this will become minus k plus minus root of minus b square minus k square. Now b square minus k square will be positive. And this is a root of a negative sign. So this will be complex root. Our f of d has complex root. In this case, alpha is minus k and beta is root of b square minus k square. In this case, our xc is given by e raised to alpha into x. e raised to alpha into when we have the equation in terms of y. Our yc is given by e raised to alpha x into c1 cos beta x plus c2 sin beta x. In our case y is replaced by x and x is replaced by t. So x here instead of yc we are writing x e raised to alpha into x. So e raised to alpha is minus k into x in our case x is replaced by t into c1 cos of beta into t in our case. So beta is root of b square minus k square into t plus c2 sine of beta into t. So this is our xc. After finding xc we need xp. xp is a complementary part. xp is a particular integral. The general formula for xp is nothing but 1 upon f of d into x but here we have t. So what is f of d? f of d is nothing but d square plus 2k d plus b square. 
into t t is e raised to minus kt sin omega t so if you observe this equation this equation is nothing but is of the form of e raised to ax into some function of v upon f of d in this case we take e raised to ax outside the function of f of d and we replace d by d plus a and we remain as it is